Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my top 5 high-end brow products. I've actually got a few high-end brow products but I've got um, my top 5 that I've been loving at the moment. So I thought I would share these with you. They'll probably have changed throughout the years but these are my like current f top five high-end brow products so yeah I hope you guys will like this video a lot of you have been asking me questions about my brows so um, I have been using these products a lot lately so the products are just like amazing um, but also if you wonder if you're wondering how I do my eyebrows I'll leave my eyebrow tutorial in the info box so the first product that I want to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer now I absolutely love this brow product it is on the more pricey side, that's why I haven't been able to buy another one. I'm, I've literally got just like this much left um, and I only use it when I really want like good brows. This, this brow pencil, I don't know, it's something about the product, it just makes your brows look like they're naturally full. So um, I definitely love this one, I get the colour in dark brown with any Anastasia brow products. They're really, really good quality. I mean, even for like a high-end product, it's around £16, which is not bad for a brow product compared to the other brow products that I have um, beside me. So, yeah, I definitely recommend this one. If you want good brows and that are easy to do, then definitely try this one because it really gives you amazing brows. So, um, And it's also like the shape. Like, it's got a particular shape and it's got the spoolie on the end and it's just such high quality and I would literally recommend Anastasia to anyone because they've got really really good product and then that brings me on to the second one um I love the browers I can't choose between the two they're just individually good in their own way I don't know if that makes any sense but the browers is more smaller and it's really good for like it just gives a different finish. I do my brows with the brow definer in two minutes. With the brow wiz, it takes a bit longer, but because the pencil is much smaller and rounder, it gives you, it's easier to make like individual brow hairs. And yeah, I don't know, sometimes I mix the two, sometimes I use them individually, but it's another good Anastasia brow product that I would recommend as well. And again, it's in dark brown. The next brow product that I've been loving at the moment is the Smashbox brow tech matte pencil it has the same concept as the brow is but um, the pigment in this is much higher like you don't need that much pressure with this because it gives so much I've used this on my brows today and it just gives some so much definition to your brows obviously you can tell that my brows are drawn in they don't look proper natural but um, you if you look up close if you look up close like now you can see the individual brow hair still so that's what I really like about this brow pencil. The only downside to this product I would say is that when you push the product out you can't bring it brow back in. It has the same one as the MAC pencil. It literally it clicks when you push it up but then you can't bring it back down so I have to be careful about that because I don't want the product squashing into the lid. Um, but apart from that, it's got a lot of pigment in it, It's it stays on pretty well. It's just so much more convenient with the spoolie on the end, so yes, another favourite of mine. I just absolutely love this one. And for the fourth product, it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Brow Lift Duo, and it's in the shade 1 Highlight uh, slash black brown because you've got like a highlight side to it now the highlights I actually don't really use to be honest I've used it a couple times but I don't really see the difference it gives like a soft shimmer but nothing too noticeable so I think they should have put a spoolie there instead of this highlight I think because it doesn't really I don't think I use it that much but the pencil again it's really good it's similar to the brow wiz and it just applies the the product really nicely like very thinly like brow hairs um, and it stays on pretty well like it does not budge so yeah I don't know what else to say about these apart from the fact that they're really good and they're good for like they've got like a bunch of shades available so yes another good one so if you're looking for like brow pencils this is another good one and for the last and final one I have been using the Estee Lauder brow now volumizing brow tint I got this recently just like the Estee Lauder one but it's really 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 good so I have since I got it I've been using it all the time I just every time I fill in my brows in I have to set it with this because the gel is so long wearing that it keeps my brow hairs in place like it locks it it doesn't feel hard but it does lock it. that's what I like about it. it doesn't feel hard like gel but it keeps everything in place. I don't get my brow hairs coming towards the bottom throughout the day. And it gives a little bit of a tint 
and it looks like you've got more hair in the inner corner so that's why I really really like this one and I got the shade dark brunette you know I recently got it but I've been using it every day so it's just proof that I absolutely love this so yeah so those were my top five high-end brow products I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more high-end top five videos let me know I still have to like buy more stuff try out more stuff so um, it will come in time but um, yeah I really enjoyed doing these videos as well hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and yeah thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye